Greetings, Kishlings. Kishin Prime here with my live reaction of One Punch Man Chapter 112. Uh, let's see. I think it's called The Power of Light. Oh, God. Don't tell me that freaking black sperm can, like, go light speed because that's the, sp you know, the speed of an ejaculation <laughs> or something. Good Lord. Also, Oh, it's the back cover art for the volume. All the letters. <laughs> I see Shadow Ring back there in her little... <laughs> She's trying to hide. But Fubuki is obviously queen here for me. Um, let's see here. Uh, ooh, okay, here's the cover. Got Genos and freaking... <laughs> uh, Speed of sound here, <laughs> Sonic. God, why? Why is he wearing that? He looks like a weeaboo. Um, and then of course there's Saitama in the back blowing bubbles. He's like, I'm not being a part of this. Um, let's see, the oh god, there's thirty six pages to this. I've been waiting for it all day. I wasn't expecting it to be honest this early. Okay, we've got like the story content bit. We got Genos on the vacuum. Saitama like lifting up a manhole cover to see all the people down in the underground. Bang and bomb. Uh, Tario. Waganma. Eh. Freaking. Wait, what? Dote? Is that Child Emperor's real name? Then there's King crying, you got freaking Giro Giro, Garo staring down Orochi, which I don't know how well that's gonna happen now, but whatever. Um, ooh, we got another animated cover. Uh, Saitama strutting his stuff. I swear, knocking out these little quick animations and, you know, it's ridiculous. Okay, we're, pet. wait, what does it say? Only because he's marching forward step by step. Only because he is the strongest. And here it is with the title, Power of Light. But I'm reading it on uh, Manga Dex, so it had the title over here. Um, okay. Atomic's being punched. Pretty quickly, it looks like. So that speed of light, you know, a thing might be a, the case. God, he's just surrounded. It, 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 it's the worst kind of fight club. Because you don't want to talk about it. You ain't just supposed to not talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. Um, uh, what? Even after splitting, the monster still has so much power? Well, he already said that he doesn't... Or, wait, did he say it or was that during the podcast? Where it's like people notice that he doesn't seem to lose any mass he just kind of creates a whole new doppelganger no effort required um so i would assume his strength doesn't get you know it doesn't get any greater except for the numerical you know advantage but physically he shouldn't get any weaker i miscalculated its strength this isn't good there are too many Slat! Oh boy. He, yep. He, good lord, Atomic is, uh, he getting his butt stomped. Grim ain't gonna like this. He is one of the biggest Atomic Samurai fanboys I've seen in the community. So, yeah. Now I'm starting to understand why, uh, Black Sperm got the hype for the last two weeks. Um, wait. Did he cut the floor on purpose so that he could get away? Well, they're just coming through the hall. Trying to run? This is so pathetic. Still, you aren't getting away. After him. Yeah, send the black sperm posse. Wait, is that a, Where's the energy beam coming from? The hell? I got annihilated before splitting. Oh. So what, he'll split to dodge? Is also a thing. Next one. Wait, what are you doing, Atomic? I've dealt with space aliens that render my blade ineffective in the past. I've been thinking about this since. 
Okay. Is he using a laser sword? Or some kind of thing like that? Because that could also be the power of light that the title refers to. Because I mentioned that, like, Atomic may have to do something like that in the podcast. People laughed at me, but if I'm right, I get a cookie. Um, he's, you've fought aliens once, Atomic. It's just a simple uh, thought, but what if I just increase the number and speed of my slashes further? Okay, even though the range would be greatly reduced, the fact that you have any range sometimes is ridiculous. <clears throat> so basically, he is creating energy, heat of, on the blade, essentially causing the light beam, right? Which is similar to something I said in the podcast as well. I came up with a lot of ideas how he could beat this guy. But my blade can penetrate with greater density. That was close. That was close. You guys barely are surviving. Half your head's gone. Um, concentrating my slashes at one point. It's a technique especially meant for monsters like you. Get reduced to dust. This guy. Focused Atomic Slash. Okay. I'm liking this. It's interesting. It's like, so he's just shooting, I would assume, friction energy that's so concentrated it's like a beam of light. In a way. Or at least that first time it was. It doesn't seem that way as much throughout the rest of it. And apparently there's a note, wing it, to do something without preparation or planning. Oh, I'm guessing that's in the next uh, uh, panel here. Okay, Atomic has crashed down to the bottom. Uh, that was one tough monster. Ouch. It's been years since my wrist hurt like this. I shouldn't be winging unfamiliar techniques like this after all. Yep, I was right. <clears throat> uh, let's see. You're going to turn to purge. Oh, yeah. I have to go after the kid. Oh, well, I'm glad that he remembers Tario. Ooh, he freaking Mario wall jumping. <laughs> I, I say that phrase because I've been watching a lot of people play Mario Maker 2 lately. Okay, well, Black Sperm was uh, ready. He's like, gonna crush him. <laughs> as soon as he comes out of the hall, he's already ready. Well, I hid my true self from the very beginning. Wait. What? He does have an... That was something that... I can't remember who said it. In the podcast saying that he might have, like, a prime. Funny, my name. But, um, like a prime, an original black sperm. Like, if you can kill the original then the rest are just nothing in comparison, and then you truly damage him. So, kudos to whoever that was. I can't remember. Um, from the very beginning, and sacrificed a tiny fraction of me, which really helped. Focus slash, it's too late. Okay, well, yep. Oh, well, you just got punched. Oh, he actually did cut him up, though. Not that that really matters. Yep, because now he's just many again. Uh, told you it's useless. Just accept it. For someone like you, I'm the worst possible matchup. Grow Grow did some thought into this. Or did put some thought into this. Okay, so their matchup was planned. I thought it was just a run run into each other kind of deal. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. Okay, Atomic's not done. Oh, he done. He slashed the ceiling. <laughs> Get buried. The roof? The roof. The roof. The roof ain't on fire, but it's about to come down on your ass. Hey, look, it's Zombie Man. God, I hope he wasn't on the level above. Because <laughs> everything's kind of shaking around him. He's just kind of like, what's going on? Okay, well, we're seeing it. Now we're seeing him again. His vibration. What's happening? 
I'm really concerned about the current battle situation. I'm concerned about the structural integrity of all of these underground structures. Um, I... Homeless Emperor? What? Well, I wasn't expecting him to show up. <laughs> Are you really that concerned? Also, he's kind of creepy. Uh, with the way other heroes are being killed. It's like, who's creeping up behind me? <laughs> kind of look on Zombie Man. Oh, God. And what? When did it? What the hell are you doing? Is he shooting an energy ball? Well, actually, it kind of looks like, what was it called? It's that one Rasengan that Naruto came up with, where he has, it's like, you have a normal size one, basically, and then you have, like, miniature ones kind of orbiting it. That's kind of what this reminds me of for some reason, except an energy attack. For example, being killed like this. Oh, boy. Okay, never mind. It turned into a bunch of energy beams. Oh, zombie man, please don't be taken out like this. He looks like he was obliterated. Um, he couldn't even fight back an, an instant death. Threat level dragon, homeless emperor. Okay, turn to purge. Oh, he can just make energy balls. Okay. Is this the end for the one they call hero? How overwhelm or how underwhelming, overwhelming. That's the opposite of what he said. Um... I've checked the official Hero Association website, you know. There are 17... Where did you do that? <laughs> and why are you the only one doing that? That's actually a good idea. Um, let's see. 17 S-Class heroes, right? I can eliminate that number all by myself. Hold up. Oh, here comes Zombie Man. Back from the grave. Coming in with that axe. Is it gonna... Well, he got his... Oh, God. It's an Aaron. It's like finger gun, and then head's gone, and he cut his arms off all in one shot. <laughs> oh. oh, zombie man. I know he's not likely not dead, but it's still <laughs> sad to see. Because I really like zombie man. After that whole pure blood fight, God, he his character grew on me. Okay, I think he's starting to regenerate, or is that just blood somehow staying aloft in the air? Okay, he's just blasting him again. It's like, I'm going to make sure you... <laughs> Somewhere along the line, he got a shot off because the bullet's coming for you, homeless. Okay, but energy blast nonetheless, and it has... Oh, 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 zombie man. I think this is the worst we've seen of him. Like, he was starting to regenerate his face before that explosion that then sent him into the wall. He's got a hole in his chest. You see his rib cage. There's just blood everywhere and half of his face is gone. Like, structurally, like his skull's there, but like eye, all of that's gone. Just... He's like, ah, someone get me a facelift. Um, looks like it hurts. He managed to block such a close range attack. Okay, you're reforming your hand in the weirdest looking way. Um, come on, I don't like this sight. It doesn't respond well. Okay, he regened his hand. What is he doing? What, what is... He re he's reaching into his own chest. What? The Why does he have a bomb in there? <laughs> I had totally prepared this as a hidden ace. Wait. He had a gun in there. Why, Why a gun? I don't know what kind of gun that is. Okay, he's regening pretty quick. Well, what kind of pistol is that? Okay, more... I have to say... Homeless Emperor's power is nothing like I thought it was going to be. I mean, I had no idea what it was going to be anyway. I mean, a lot of the times you can kind of guess, but this one's like completely 
different. I mean, that's good. It's always good to be surprised. Okay, he's doing one of these, one of those like volley attacks again, and just blew up the whole area again. <laughs> good lord. Um, okay, the dust is settling, as expected of one of the top heroes. Unfaltering, even at death's door, you certainly are strong. And you just see Zombie Man, like he's standing, but like whole parts of his body are gone. Uh, and probably charred. Um, oh, and that's the end of the chapter. Nope. Oh, we got another little animation bit. I don't know if that's from uh, Murata or not. It's just like different poses of black sperm. Hmm. Okay. Well, that that was a chapter and a half now, wasn't it? Um. <laughs> oh, okay. Atomic got a different kind of power up than I would have necessarily expected, but it kind of takes the concept that I was going with, like an energy kind of attack or a, um, like a heated blade sort of deal. He just did it in an unexpected way, which is fine. I, I appreciate that because as a reader, you don't want to always be able to predict everything. And my nose is itchy, sorry. Oh. The, uh, so yeah, the Black Sperm is still pretty powerful. He, I don't know exactly what's going to happen now. We just kind of cut away from the atomic fight and then go to the Homeless Emperor versus Zombie Man fight, which that matchup is interesting. Um, and I mean the fact that Homeless Emperor even has like energy attacks. It's like, if that's the case, how is he homeless? It's like he could, you know, do an energy company or something and be rich, <laughs> you know? So I could see him, or maybe he's just living on the streets because it's his own thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, good chapter overall. The action was pretty top-notch. Um, getting in basically two fights that's nice um a power up um more information about another one of the executives that's great can you say more of zombie man also great um don't quite get the gun like it looks no more special than the like the desert eagle looking pistols that he had before so but to each their own um but yeah let me know if there's anything I missed or misunderstood. Uh, let me know those in the comments. Um, let me know what you thought of the chapter. Um, yeah, a lot of um. But anyway, I stream on Twitch three days a week. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Upload those to YouTube the next day in that cycle. The uh, Here's where you can find me. Links down below. Um... Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And until next time, Keyshlings, roll out!